So you've just finished creating your Discord bot. That's great. It works perfectly how you want it to do. Everything's there and it's just great. So how do you start getting users? How do you start getting people to use it? Well then, let me show you. Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can get people to use your Discord bot and how they can find it so that they can add it to their servers. So just before we jump in, I just want to quickly say I've got a Discord server. So if you've had any problems while making your Discord bot, feel free to join it and we'll be happy to help you out. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first place I'm going to be recommending is a website called top.gg. It's very well known in the Discord world community. It's a place in where you can basically promote your Discord bot or Discord server. And I've known many people to put their bots, upload their bots, advertise the, their bots on this website and have actually gained quite a few users from it. So it is a valid strategy, a valid way to get people to join. And I, just to show you, for example, like big Discord box like Dank Mima and Probot, he, he also use this website. And one of the features that this website has is for your bot to be voted on. So the more votes you have your bot, the higher it ranks in search. But that doesn't mean that let's say you first upload your bot to this. If you first set up your bot on here, as it will have zero votes when you first upload it, that doesn't mean it won't be found by people. It still will be found by people. But for example, up here, you can specialize your bot by different tags. And there's way more tags than just the ones here. And it, the same works for servers. You can upload your server if you have a Discord server here. That's just a side note. But in this video, we're focusing on bots. And I want to specify something. When I say upload your bot to this website, I don't mean physically upload the code. What I mean is you're creating like a profile listing for your bot. So you'll add the bot. So you'll add the link for where you can get people to join your bot. So your like um, connection URL, the one that you will get from a Discord dashboard, the Discord developer dashboard. And then you create a profile on it. So you like give it a title, your name, uh, a description of it, loads and loads of like customization you can do. So it's basically a profile for your Discord bot. Think of it like Instagram in a sense, or, or think of it like Tinder, kind of. You upload it and you get people to find you for it, if that makes sense. You see where I'm going here. And this is a way that many people have used to grow and gain followers to their Discord bots. And you know how I was talking about there's loads of other tags? Look at here, there's hundreds, literally hundreds for you to be able to help promote your bot. And trust me, this will gain you users. But now let's move on to the second way in which you can gain users to your bots. The next place I'm going to recommend that you look at in a way of getting people to use your Discord bot is Reddit. And I know Reddit. But I'm not saying in the site that I highly recommend you don't do this. Don't just join a subreddit and like spam posts saying, add my bot to your server. No, no, I'm not saying that in the slightest. What I'm saying is, have a look through some smaller subreddits to do with Discord servers and have a look for maybe like a question that someone's asked. Maybe they've, they're looking for a bot that does something and your bot does one of these features. Then why don't you suggest in like a nice polite way, why not try out their bot? Maybe, and, and say that your bot does all of those features that they were talking about. And I suggest adding your bot to the server. Like, I've, my bot solves your problem, why don't you try it out sort of way. I hope you see what I'm saying here. So don't go and just spam add my bot to your server. Well, actually, there are some subreddits that are designed for that. So sure, go ahead and do that in those subreddits if you want. But in, for example, subreddits that aren't designed for that in the slide, just don't do that. Do what I suggested in terms of seeing for questions that people have asked. And if your bot suits that question, then suggest your bot. You might be thinking, yeah, this is going to get no users at all to add my bot to their server. However, you'd be surprised that I've known personally some people who have actually gained quite a few users from doing this. Like, for example, someone I know found a post that someone was asking a question for and their bot that they built solved all of their problems. And this post, it gained loads and hundreds of upvotes and loads of people added their bot to their server just due to this post, which honestly was quite incredible. So, like, rule this option out. Reddit is actually a good place in doing promoting your bot. The next thing that I'm going to suggest in a way that you can get more people to add your Discord bot to their server is by creating your own website. And hear me out first. 
So let's say you create a website purely dedicated for your Discord bot. And then you set it up correctly. So when someone searches in, let's say, Google, for something that's similar to your Discord bot that they're looking for, then your website could pop up and rank pretty highly. And then they go ahead and click on it and be like, oh, this looks interesting, this looks what I need. And they go ahead and add your Discord bot. That, honestly, trust me, that actually could potentially work. It's a long shot. It's not as effective as the other two I've shown you, so top.gg or Reddit. But this, honestly, in the long run, this could actually be a suitable way of gaining people or getting people to add your Discord bot to their server. Maybe if you have some free time like, and you want to create a website, you could use one of these website builders. Or maybe you could take it as an opportunity to learn, like, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript was the first language I ever used, uh, that I ever learned. And honestly, I loved doing it. It was so much fun cross creating websites. So if you have some free time and you want to learn a new language, this might be a great opportunity for you to do so. But as I said, this is kind of a long shot. So only do this option if you have time and you want to do it. And well, we've kind of covered now like the top three ways in which you can gain users to your Discord bot, in which you can get people to add your, your Discord bot to their servers. However, I want to cover one more thing in this video. I want to go over how important it is for you to have your own Discord server for your Discord bot. Basically like a support server. So if any problems with your Discord bot, people can join this server and report the problem so that you can go ahead and fix it in your code. Because no offense, but there will be bugs in your bot and well having a support server just shows the dedication you have towards your bot and will make people stick around and use your bot even if it's slightly broken in some areas so having this support server will keep your users around longer and it is a valid way in which you can use in which you can do to make sure that people stick around and do use your bot continuously and just don't give up with it if something doesn't work. It will actually save users, trust me on that. But that now brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found something useful. If you have, please do consider subscribing. But anyway, I'll catch you all in my next video. See ya!